Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Visio to manage a project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a timeline, first of all, to give an overarching view of the project, and then I'll show you how you can manage a project using Visio diagrams. So first of all, timeline, let's create a timeline. I'll just get a blank one. So I'm going for a cylindrical timeline and I'm going to leave it on the default settings. So it's March to September. That'll do. OK. I always like to have a few features on there. So the end arrowhead and the today marker and the elapsed time indicator, wherever that is. There. Yeah put them on so I want to put three phases and I'm going to just name the sheet main that's the main sheet so let's have a one two three sheets so we'll have this one will be Gantt and then this one will be a flowchart of a process and this one will be a cross functional so I'll just put cross functional flowchart. So back to the main. So let's have a look at some block intervals. So if I go on block interval, and uh, let's just say this is going to be phase one, call this phase one. Phase one, develop strategy, develop strat energy. Okay to that one. Phase one, develop strategy. Let's do another block interval. This can be phase two, phase two, oops, phase two, install software. I'm leaving all the time scales as default, but obviously you can expand these. You'll get the idea when I've done this. And then phase three, this one, phase three, we'll call that review process so there's a, a three-phase project so what I now need to do is go on to this second sheet the Gantt chart and add a Gantt chart now I haven't got a Gantt chart in this template this stencil is not there so I need to go to more shapes go to schedule and then you can pick up the Gantt chart shape so pick up the Gantt chart shape and then let's, this is developed strategy, so I'll bring that on. So I'll just leave all as default, so I'm not going to change that. There are other videos I've got if you, where I can show you how to change all that, but just leave that as that. Let it create the camp chart. So five tasks, this is develop strategy, title, develop strategy. Missed any out, develop strategy. So that's going to be Quad Teams, Task 1, Design, Product, Test Product, Sell Product, Test, Product, and then Sell Product. That'll be the tasks for this bit, like so. Now the durations for these, I'll just leave this as two days, three days, two days, five days. I want to link all these together like so. So just go up to the Gantt chart and link and they all need to be linked under that. Link like so. So that's a title, so I don't, I don't want it like that. I want that to be a summary task. So I'll just do that. Just need to indent that. It tells me it can't indent it, but it does. And now it's given me the summary, but these are the ones that are not linked. So I'll just need to do that a bit again. Just link those. 
So that cot will now becomes a summary task and the whole ta uh, whole project is 12 days in duration. So that's that one. Then I go on to the flow chart and I create a little flow chart. And again, I haven't got the stencil, so I need to get the flow chart stencil. Um, basic flow chart I want. That one. So that brings that one in. So now back to the home tab and activate the connector tool. So I need a start point. So this bit is install software. So I'll just put the process on. So install software room one, test software room one, train on software room one, room one complete, for example. And obviously you can go into a lot more detail than that. With this connector tool on, you can see it automatically connects up. So now I need the Title, install software, if it fits in there. So this is install room one, test room one, train room, capital R, room one, and then complete room one complete for now that's that one and then the cross-functional flowchart again the stencil is not here and this is the review process that I said at the beginning if we go back to the main phase three is review cross go for the stencil so this is flowcharts and you want the cross-functional one can't see it cross-functional that one that comes in so now you're creating swim lanes, like so. And uh, let's just bring that back a little bit. So we'll just have three swim lanes for this little review process. So we can have um, MD, um, finance, and production. So now I need some tasks in here. So I've got three phases to this project. So I'm just going to put three tasks on there. So I need to go back up to flowcharts. And the task I want is, let's do a start. We'll start with the MD. Now I'll click the connector on, but sometimes with these cross-functional flowcharts, you get a, a swim lane expanding when you don't want it to. Hopefully that won't happen on this one. But if it does, We'll have to do it slightly different. So let's go for processes. So the MD is going to preview that. And then that can be the first phase actually. So I need to expand that over two sections. In fact, all three of them need to review that. Let's do it like that. So all three are reviewing that. Click back on the connector tool and then do another process. Same thing pointed tool this one needs to come across three so this is the Gantt chart bit so they're the two phases of the project so this is Gantt I'll call it Gantt process review and this is flowchart process review now obviously you can, um, oops, typed it twice. You can add as many things as you want to this, but this is um, all I want to do for this little bit. So let's title, title review. And phase, just, I don't really need the phase. No phase. Okay, so these are the people that are doing this, and that's just the start review process and that'll do for this little example but what I want to do now is I want to create some hyperlinks so on this front screen first of all you can create a hyperlink using the off page reference tool which will jump from one page to another I want to do that one first but also you can actually hyperlink from these blocks which I'll do after so first of all we haven't got the off page reference oh we have there it is it's under the cross-functional flowchart one so if I stick this one up the top there 
I want it to go to an existing page and Gantt is the first one so that's okay and then that'll jump onto the Gantt and then you can just double click between the two and then on the Gantt chart I want one to go to page two so let's put one down there so this, this is going to flow chart okay and again you double click in between the two and then on the flow chart one I want one down the bottom here to go to the last page which is cross-functional could have called that review actually but never mind and then need to move that to a clip between the two and you've got your navigation now to actually create a hyperlink from these blocks we need to name some of the shapes that we want to hyperlink to otherwise you just hyperlink to the page which is what that's just done so let's say I want that to hyperlink to develop strategy which was the Gantt chart so I want to, to hyperlink to this but I want to hyperlink to this particular bit so if I click on that block there I need to go to the developer tab now if you haven't got the developer tab you need to go file options customize ribbon and tick it on and then you'll have it and that's the same for all Microsoft Office packages okay to that on there you've got um, name shape name there so this is shape name whatever that is so I'm going to just call that Gantt so that's now Gantt okay and then I should be able to hyperlink to that. So if I click on the first block, go insert link, and the top bit's for a web address, but we, we're looking for a shape address. So browse, so page is not main, page is Gantt, and the shape is Gantt. Now I want to zoom it, so I'm gonna change that to 150%. Click OK to that, OK, and then click away, Hold your control key down, you get the little hand symbol, and it comes onto this zoomed up. So that's the first one. The second one goes to the flow chart. Click on that. Before we do that, we need to name something on here. So I'll go for the title. So back to developer and name. So this is it's called start end at the minute. So I'll call it software. software click OK to that go back to the main click on the block go back to insert link and then in the sub address area you're browsing for that so this is on the page called flowchart and it's called software and again I'll zoom it so we can see it software everything looks OK to that OK click away control key down get the little hand and it jumps to that and then the last one is the flow chart uh, cross functional flow chart and again on the review I'll call this one review develop shape name call it review review okay to that back to your main click on that phase back to insert hyperlink sub address area so this is the cross page should be review like I said and review oh and we'll, we'll zoom that as well so let's go to 200% on that one okay okay click away hold your control key down click and then it zooms in onto that shape. So this is just a very quick look at how you can use Microsoft Visio to manage projects. So we've got a timeline, which is the overarching project itself, and then we've got hyperlinks to the details. So the Gantt, that's one phase, phase one, this is that. Then a hyperlink to the flowchart, which is phase two, and a hyperlink to the review, which is phase three. Now, obviously, on each of these, you've got lots of tools that you can use to make these a bit more interesting. You've got shape data that you can add behind all these shapes. 
on the Gantt chart, you can actually um, update these tasks. Um, if I get onto shape data, you can see what's on there, uh, view shape data. All of this information is available on the Gantt chart. Plus you can insert extra columns, but you need to go back to the, the Gantt chart shapes, but you can insert columns per set is complete. All of this information, uh, most of this information can be inserted as a column. So you get a lot more stuff there. And just to show you what I mean there, if I put that up as 45% um, complete, you can see that little bar goes across there like that. So th this is a project management to like a bit like Microsoft Project, but obviously nowhere near as complicated and nowhere near as detailed. But for lots of projects, you don't need to go into great detail. And a, a visual representation like this is in Visio is a great tool. And I think um, it's well worth doing if you haven't got Microsoft Project, because Microsoft Project is very expensive, whereas this isn't anywhere near as dear as that project package. So hopefully it's been of use to you. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.